Hello everyone. Good evening. I hope everyone is doing great. So today we are going to learn another topic using GraphQL, Graph Query Language, basically API in Pega. So I was exploring from last one or two days, and I didn't find like the connector. Like we have a REST connector, we have a SOAP connector in Pega, but for Graph Query Language, as of now, we don't have the connector. Right. So if you don't have the connector, how we can use that? Right. Because there could be possibility that where you are working in your live project. OK, some of the API producer service provider has that graph query language. OK, so what we should do to do that? OK, so I have find out a way using REST API only. And today I'll show you end to end that how we can use the graph query language using our REST API in the REST wizard. So let's start. So first I'll show you in the postman that how we call a graph query language okay and how we can like uh, use it using rest one so let's go i have a postman collections here if you see that right so this is a free postman collections so you can also use it just search a free graph query language on postman website and you'll find it so here you can see that we have a query language where what we're trying to fetch is that list of countries okay and inside that uh, the countries we want to fetch code name and emoji so if you see here, if I run, we can see that that list of country. So inside the data, we can see the data country and then code name emoji. It's coming in the list. OK, now this is if you see right we are here you using graph QL. OK, so the request which we are passing as a graph query language. But as we discussed, right, that we don't have these things available in Pega, how we can do that. So we can like we can send this uh, request as a uh, raw okay and what we need to do that we need to form this query in a, in a string okay and we can pass in a uh, query okay so i'll show you in a query and and that can go as a json so basically key and value pair okay so if i go to raw which i have already formed so you can see that the query and the value is the complete uh, the query language okay and if you go by like this one right if you go like this exactly if you paste it it might not work so you have to form a string okay so you can see that it's like a json okay you have a query so this is like key and the whole value is this one okay if you see this one so now if i execute this one also then we'll get the same response okay so now maybe now by this time you are getting it that how we can use it okay even if you don't have the graph well how you can use it so simply build your request or build your the query okay in a string and then pass it under the query in that way you'll be able to fetch that okay so now let's so we saw here on the postman let's see how we can do it in set pega so what i have done so like if you take any example right right uh, to consume any rest api what we do so first thing is that we collect the prerequisite so prerequisite is that we have the url endpoint url uh, we have the request and then we have the response okay so i have already saved as request and response here so you can see that this is my request uh, which we are passing so inside that here also you can see that so this is like a small json and the json the query and then inside that query the value is also going as a json so the whole query okay, query language whatever we can say okay and in the response we are getting that list of countries so that also i have and i have saved so now i'll go to the pega and just to show okay i've already created a case type loan a very simple application so in this one you can see that i am already populating one country okay india so this value as of now it is coming as a hard coded value so i have a data page which i have referred to that uh, drop down and here it's coming as a uh, hard coded now my goal is that i'll be creating an integration data page okay and all the countries i'll be copying from the integration data page so that's the goal okay which i have commented okay so let's see how we can do that so as we discussed we can we don't have the graph query language connector so we'll be using uh, the rest api so let's go to integration and try to consume that so we'll go to integration services oh, where is the sorry like here yeah integration and then we'll go to connector create rest integration Okay, so in, in place of system, we can say country, we can give any name, and then now we'll go and copy the endpoint URL. So the same which we'll be copying here. In header, we can pass content type, application JSON. So the value will be application JSON. 
now click next here we can here only we can upload the files in resource also we can just give country or country whatever we want to give countries now what we need to do okay we need to add that response okay so next like here we just selected the method and the value content type okay it's automatically coming we don't have any uh, query string because we are going to hit as a post okay post method now click submit now let's go to the next here we can add our both the file okay so we'll click add and then once we select the post then we'll get an options to upload the request and response so here i'll be uploading the request.json which i have saved the same file and then click on add and then i'll upload the rest response so in this way what will happen is that pega will automatically create the data structure okay as well for you so you don't have to worry about that one okay so now we are done okay let's click next and here you can see that okay it's automatically creating uh, so qtm int and then country so this is integrations layer and the connector name is country because in the resources we have given the same and here again we are getting countries and then uh, Q, uh, like uh, so qtm int country and then qtm int country so if you want to make it similar just update this one so this we know okay so this is nothing new in this one okay so i'm not explaining much if you want to learn then like we have already have a video like on the rest integration okay so connector name is country and then now data page is also countries like i'm not bothering about this where it is creating so it's creating in a new rule set country and countries okay or if you want to update the same that also we can do if you want to let's say have it everything in one only so let's submit it now let's uh, we can preview also but uh, not required for now let's create it so now we can see that okay uh, data source created so countries we have here we have the connect uh, rest and then we have the data page so let's check that uh, so if the way pega refers right so pega created everything because we selected to create both integrations layer and data layer okay so here this is our connect rest rule and then uh, connect rest uh, request data transform and response data transform if you go to connector so in the method we can see in post okay we have uh, pega have automatically mapped so we don't have to do anything request underscore body post okay and in the response also we can see similar things okay so pega is using response underscore post similar the way we consume the rest api okay um, nothing much difference okay so the only difference is the how we are sending the uh, our request okay because in request like early, uh, what we do we used to map right on a clipboard in case of request okay on like and then finally pega generates that the clipboard page to json and then send it okay if you're using a post if you're using a get then obviously that goes as a uh, query parameter so now let's see the, our request okay so in request if you see here something uh, i don't know from where this is getting added okay ideally this is not required so we can remove it zw something one one response i think it got added from somewhere okay so but what we are looking exactly is this one so i'm just removing that let me refresh again and show you okay so if something is getting added extra you can remove it okay so that much can easily identify so the only one thing which we are looking is this one so if you see on the postman also this is what the value we were passing in the query and what will happen eventually right uh, this this is being referred in the uh, rest connectors so automatically it will convert okay json so this is like a key and this will hold this will as go as a value okay so if you want to make it parameterized so that also we can do okay so let me just add a comment so that i can pass and and show you okay so i can okay I'll, I'll do it later let's first run it like this okay so now let's see the response a response data transform so we can see the response data transform also so the way pega creates the data source everything is same and here it's mapping that whole things data inside the data we have the list of countries so the list of countries is being mapped to the countries page list property okay so everything is fine now let's run the uh, this data page okay so as of now this data page is not taking any parameter but I'll, I'll show you we can parameterize and pass that query uh, uh, query language the query okay to get that list of country now let's trace and run it or tracing is also not required just let's run it and see the response if we are getting it so here we can see that we are getting that list of countries and 
see the same thing we are getting code name and emoji and we are getting all the list of countries 249 countries right now let's see if you want to make it parameterized in your real time projects obviously this will that will not be the hard coded because for different scenario you want to have a different query so that is where what we can do here we can make it param dot query so one thing which you need to do here is that right here like we are passing right so this maybe you need to build manually okay if you want to send like here like in place of code name and emoji maybe you, you want to have something dynamic so you may need to build this query okay uh, and then you can pass it so here we set that parameter query now we can go to our data page and have one parameter query and we have to make sure that we are selecting the pass parameters so it's already selected so now let's run it again oh everything is saved so we can close this rule let's this one and this fine now let's so now it's asking okay so we can copy the same query okay this value we can copy and pass it so then also we'll get the response see okay so looks like we're not getting let's see what is happening yeah see we got that list of countries so i think double quote is not required without double quote i passed and we got the response okay now let's say we want to populate the same value right here in the list of countries so how we can do that so our data page is already ready okay so if you see that uh, response right so it's coming on the data page dot countries okay so this value we can directly copy to the px result okay uh, so if i go to the country list i just need to enable this step because d underscore countries dot countries have the list of countries total countries so what it will do it will replace the px result okay so now let's create a new case and see that if you're getting that the whole list of country in the drop down Okay, so nothing is coming. Let's see why it's not coming. Let me run this one directly. So it's failing D underscore country. Let me see that. Let me close all those things and then update the value again so this is the d underscore countries d underscore countries so i'll paste it here d underscore countries dot from the response data transform i'll just copy these countries here okay so i understood it why it's not working because we are not passing that query okay so here we need to pass that query param dot query because we need to pass that query value right so so from where wherever we are calling right we usually pass that value so this value needs to be passed it from here so i'll copy that value again this one and then hopefully it should work so this is just i'm showing that how we usually right this is normal right so for each and every applications even for the rest one also we do the same thing let's save it now let's run okay so this this data transform is referred from this one okay so i have like kind of another data page so if i'll run this one then in the px result we should see that list of countries see we got that now if i'll go and create a new case okay we should see that save and close let's create a new case still the value is not coming why because here the value is coming right see x result and then code name yeah i think the the property reference is wrong so i can go and update that here so it should be dot code and dot name so it's getting replaced i think the property reference the property should be like this yeah. code and then it should be name so i need to create that just that like it's a mismatch of that one okay 
so that is where it's not populating but the value is coming if you want to do right i can i can do here like dot let's say i just want to refer right d underscore countries it's it's mismatch is happening okay because of that it's the value is not coming but i i hope you got it right it's just like the uh, the code uh, we can also do that okay so what we can do i can quickly delete and recreate that property so these two property right so i can quickly delete and complete the whole use case so that you will not get confused i'll just create i mean this is just like i'm trying to map the whole response okay in one sort but if you want to map it one by one okay i think uh, it will work for you there should not be an issue okay again it got created like that only so let me just do it again yeah it gets auto So now I just created one property. So I'll just go here in the sections and I'll refer name only in both the places. Then we should see that. I think now it will come. Let's save and open a new case. See, we got that list of countries. So it's a very simple use case okay use case is simple but here like uh, see the more main aim was not to show this drop down how we want to populate this we, we know everyone knows that right just i wanted to show that if you have a query language how we can do that so query language you can manually form and you can pass it in a string called query and uh, like this okay so let me close all those things and then just uh, go through once again so what i did is like i i consumed like a rest api only okay the only thing which i gave is that content type and application suggestion is a value and then i uploaded that request and, and response and response you can just whatever the response you are getting beats from the uh, graphql or like um, using as a rest the, re uh, the response is same so you can save the response and in request just you need to form it like this okay like this one so whatever the query you have just pass it uh, like uh, inside the value of, as a value of query okay and then uh, this uh, just upload this one to pega so pega will automatically create uh, this json uh, like a json structure or clipboard structure for you or data structure for you so you don't have to worry much and then if you want to use the hard code value you can use hard code value or like obviously you have to pass a dynamic value so you can refer that uh, in in your data page as a query and then that query can go and you can set and that value to our uh, this property query so this this we usually do for everything uh, like uh, rest as well just the only difference is this one and to like when you want to prepare this one so maybe you need to prepare this one manually okay so there is no any automated way even if you are using graphql as well right you need to prepare this value Okay, so that's it for this class. I hope this will help you and uh, please do try and let me know if you need any help. I can definitely help with that. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.